Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> welcome guys, welcome. Okay, well, well, this is gonna be a video for the failures out there. All right, can we get talking for like just a second here on failure? Because if you have tried something and you failed, and you've doubted yourself, and you've had friends and family say that you'll never be able to make it happen. It's a bunch of bullshit. It is a bunch of bullshit. And I think the one person I like to always refer back to, one of my big idols, somebody that I absolutely look up to whenever I get into conflict, is Steve Jobs. You know, he says that you should never be controlled or let your outcomes and your dreams be controlled by the stigma of other people in the world and that's the absolute truth it's very easy to get self-absorbed and believe what other people believe and you know get their doubts get their fears because nobody in your family has ever been able to become a doctor dentist lawyer graduate from school nobody's ever been able to become a youtuber nobody's ever been able to do those things and when people begin to doubt you when you start failing because you tried to do it all right that doesn't mean that you failed and it doesn't even mean that you are a failure do you understand that do you really get that i hope you do because Failure is feedback from taking action. Does that make sense? Failure is feedback from taking action. And when you take action, that already separates yourself from 99% of people. Because a lot of people, they sit there, they moan, they bitch, they complain about life, and they wonder why life is beating them up. And they don't realize that they control the outcomes in their life by the actions they take every single day. So when you guys are out there, whether you're building a business online, whether you are looking to become a YouTuber, you want to hit that thousand subscriber mark, but all of a sudden, you know, you got a lot of subscribers in the beginning, and then it slowed down, or you're trying to become a uh, teacher and you're going to college and university, and all of a sudden you can't pay for books or tuition or your rent anymore, and you're a little bit worried, and people say that, you know, maybe you should just stop going to school and get a job for you to save up money. If you are in that area of your life where there is discomfort because you have failed or you're thinking that you are going to fail, it is feedback for you to adjust your course to then realign yourself with your target, with that, that goal, that object, that desire that you want so bad in your life. Failure can either make you or break you. You can either grow from it or you can be stagnant and complacent and comfortable with it. And you can just say, hey, you know, it's probably not meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, right? But I would encourage you, look at it from a positive viewpoint. And that is my message to all the failures out there. Everyone who's failed, everyone who thinks that once you fail, that's the end of the road. You can make it the end of the road, or you can make it allow yourself to take the back alley on that road to still get to that outcome that you desire because it's still there. There's people out there that are creating the results that you want who are not better than you, not smarter than you, and they still have that conflict from family, friends, and, and just the world in general who are doubting them and hating on them. And you know what? Screw the haters. Screw the haters because when it comes down to it, guys, taking action you will get results they will be positive results they will be negative results they'll be a mix of both okay and you can either let that make you or break you and i encourage you guys don't let your failures be your resting point Tonight.